I really recognized that it was really people who brought me back to life. The power of community and social support throughout that 18 month journey was just truly a game changer in my health and recovery. And it put me into a mindset of total gratitude that I've never lost for the life that I had been given and for those who made a difference in it. I talk about uh, just the cancer part of Ezra, but he was, uh, he danced, laughed, he loved music, you know, he was, he was a lot more than, than a diagnosis. Because all too often, if somebody has to work and can't go to their radiation appointment five days a week um, because they lose their job, people make choices. Um, and unfortunately, some of those choices Im impact how their treatment plays out. And that's how a patient is at that moment of diagnosis. They have to put together all of those puzzle pieces. They have to become medical experts and psychosocial care experts and lawyers and financial experts. And we're putting all of that burden on the patients. You cannot stand on your own and make a decision that's best for you when you hear the air conditioning above all else um, when, when you receive that diagnosis. Somebody has to be the advocate of the consumer. And from my conversations today and hearing the presentations today, ain't no one doing that quite yet. It comes up frequently. You know, you have, you're presented with all these treatment options. How do I know what's best for me? Well, a really important variable to a lot of patients is how much is this going to actually cost me? One, two, three, throw. Keep it simple. Take one day at a time. You can end up doing something that you thought maybe you could never do before. I strongly believe that we can transform the world of healthcare if we bring respect compassion and partnership to every healthcare encounter. We can bring much more to bear than direct clinician in really surrounding this patient in the right environment. We have to learn how to do that. We have to make that available.